Right, um, Kevin Molesley from Enworth. Uh, I said I'd tell you what I've been doing for the last couple of years. Um, I worked uh, liaising between um, for the last couple of years uh, Enworth, the clinical trials unit at Bangor, uh, and the uh, Betsy Cadwallader Trust. Uh, the idea of my position is to try and make research more efficient. I'm under slightly here under false pretenses and this is a research showcase and I've got no research to showcase what we're trying to do is show how we hope to make your research um, better um, okay uh, well, we have working for two years trying to make things more efficient we have had several projects uh, we've been successful with but our main uh, thrust has been about making data available making data available for research now, the uh, health service collects an awful lot of data, and health data is needed for research. Uh, the, health, the NHS collects masses of, of, routinely, of routine data every year. Many millions of pounds have been spent uh, collecting and linking this data. For instance, with uh, the SAIL, Fire Institute, uh, and NISCAR data linkage project, and uh, the BCUHB information warehouse. But, um, we think that these initiatives don't really provide data in, in, the, in the, the way that's easy for researchers to use. Uh, for instance, if you are looking for primary care data and you go to sale, uh, you'll be presented with a quarter of a million read codes that you've got to interpret to find out what data you want for your particular bit of research. Which is, so it's fine that it's there, but what do you do to get it out again? And also, contrary to good clinical practice, what often happens is rather than get the data out of the NHS systems you actually just go and re-interview the, the, the patient uh, and so that, that is contrary to good clinical practice to, to have uh, need to go and uh, re-interview somebody who's already given you the information so we came up with something called a health data platform which is an, an IT system and, uh, again this is slightly under false pretenses because it looks like an IT system and this is a, a data platform but in reality it's uh, a series of methodologies whereby we make data available for researchers we make the data from the health service available for researchers we've uh, had an awful lot of good cooperation uh, from the people in the uh, uh, trust uh, and they are willing to make all the data that is there, they collect routinely uh, uh, available for researchers at Bangor University and elsewhere, as provided it is done uh, in a proper and secure manner and providing you've got uh, the correct permissions to get it. The trick is, as many of you will know from the hospital systems, is this data is all over the place. Now, how on earth do you find out where it is and where you're going to get it from and how you're going to get it out? Uh, so we came up with this plan to provide a mechanism that makes all relevant health data held in all the IT systems in BCUHB available for research. Um, and then we stopped for lunch. Uh. Okay. Um, so... What we're aiming, we want to sit between the data sources and the researchers to interpret the data on behalf of researchers uh, of, 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 and uh, to analyze the diverse data resources uh, and find out where the data is for you. If you're doing dementia studies, a lot of people are in, uh, uh, in SCAR, uh, then what we've noticed found in the past that every time somebody sets up a trial they start from scratch and say right we want this data where are we going to get it from and it takes nine months to set up the um, uh, the actual trial uh, because the wheel is reinvented every time we thought well this is we can just simply if we create templates so we find out where all the data is if you've done a, a um, a project that's looking for dementia and you wanted this data this year the next project that comes along is probably going to want much the same data and we can say well this is what the previous project want is that what you want or oh, do you want a little bit more a little bit less now we've got all these we found out where all this data is before we've worked out the methodologies of how we're going to get it out for you we've been through information governance and ethics and R&D and found these methodologies are satisfactory we've run trials doing it before this way uh, and everybody it's worked so in future you will be able to say right we want that data we want to use this methodology and hopefully by because it's all been done before and you're not reinventing the wheel you can then uh, shorten the time it takes to set up the trial and you the data there is 
more and cleaner data available for you. Uh, I'm not sure about the cleaner data yet because we've not got that far. Uh, but the, the data is uh, there quicker uh, and in a more simple way. So, um, so we are advancing, as you like, data advisors, uh, and I, I've used the word brokers, I don't really like that word, but uh, it's what we're doing, we're, we're, we're sitting between uh, the data sources and the researchers and saying that, that this is what you need to be doing. And I've, I had to do a presentation to some IT uh, people a couple of weeks ago and it came up with this phrase that there's an awful lot of good work going to suck in data uh, and, and link it all together, but what people want is somebody who's going to get it back out again in a, in a way that's, that's meaningful, meaningful for them. Um, and so we started, uh, we started this about 18 months ago and we got it agreed between Enworth and, and BCUHB. Uh, we devised the methodology uh, and to get individual da patient data out of BCU secondary care systems, do it anonymously, do it in a protected manner uh, and take it to the researchers. Um, and that development is about to go live, and um, we, we've done that work with uh, information government's approval. Uh, we've been working with SAIL to improve primary care data. Uh, uh, when we started uh, 18 months ago, there were only 25% of the GP practices in North Wales were contributing to SAIL. Uh, SAIL have had a bit of a push to try and increase that, and we've been helping them with that. We now know that, that in less than a year, that's gone up to 50% of, of the GP practices now in, in, in North Wales. In fact, they've got to stop recruiting practices because they've got so much paperwork that they've had to sit around, that they've, they've decided to uh, wait three months before they go any further and, and get everything in order. But that's, that, that's a, a success story. Uh, we've got pilot trials starting to run um, where we, we plan to do triangulation studies whereby we will collect the data in the usual manner and then we'll collect it the way that we want to uh, think we can do it in a better manner and we'll compare the two. Um, if they're different, I'm not sure how yet how we decide which one is best, but well, that's another bridge we come to. Um, we've got trials that are, one well, the FEMA trial is uh, going to be the first one. Topcat, uh, we hope will be um, uh, online soon, as soon as I send in the application form. Um, uh, we've got agreement with SAIL um, and uh, with BCUHB to actually have people in the, on their premises working for us doing these extracts. It's got a, that's on hold for the moment because our funding uh, uh, has got to be renewed and we can't sign contracts until the funding is renewed but we have agreement in principle that, that that's what's going to happen which we think is wonderful the idea that you know uh, we've got somebody in the in the IT systems working for us getting the data out for us and also collecting more data from around the the, tr the, the trust to put into the um, to the systems Two more minutes. okay uh, and then uh, I don't see we're starting a project with Chris Subi that's going to look at data from rectional social services uh, so why can't we include more data? Social services, public health, local government. We're not holding data. We're finding a methodology of getting the data out. We're so we're not, uh, we're not running against data protection. Everything we do has got to be, have the usual ethics, R&D and information government. But there's no reason why we can't find out what data is there and then start advising people that it's there if you want to link it um, in with your systems. That was a nice complicated diagram that I shows you how we get data out of the uh, uh, secondary care, which I included in case I run out of anything else to say. Uh, uh, and the final, we, we came up, you know, this is a bit of a grandstanding statement about, about our reporting NISCAR, and that we wanted to develop this, and we wanted to make BCUHB and Enworth and North Wales uh, uh, at the, put them at the forefront and we wanted people to come in and say that this is a good place to do research. Then all of a sudden all these things have come together and we feel actually we might be able to do that and that we're certainly over the next 18 months we'll be trying very hard to do that and we're confident enough of it that in spring of 2016 we are about to uh, put together a conference, Claire has agreed to chair the steering committee, where we will try and attract industry into North Wales, health research from across the UK, from across Europe, and say this is a good place for us to do, um, for you to do health research. Thank okay? You.